Greetings, guys and girls. I'm Halux 68 here with Troy, and we're continuing our playthrough of Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. And we're on a, the hunt for um, missing photograph pieces. Six of them. It looks like the inspector has found a new victim to grow. Oh. Oh. So the only way to false sense is through a narrow mountain pass on the Monetary Express. In other words, no one gets in or out of town without riding that train, correct? I see you've been doing your homework. Yes. I think you've got your facts straight. Age takes a toll, it's toll on the memory, you know. You can't tell by looking at me, but I'm no spring chicken. That's quite enough, madam. <laughs> if you're sure about the route to town, then we're finished here. Barton, let's go. Hmm? I, I mean, yes, sir. Oh, rats, he dashed off. I was sure I could get him to come in and take in a show. Wow. Honestly, some boys can't sit still for five minutes. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh -huh. The inspector didn't notice that piece, I suppose. I guess not, yeah. Yep, indeed we have. I'll hold on to that for now. Five to go. Alright, can we go inside? No? We still can't go inside the cabaret. I guess we don't get a show. Or I guess not, no. Let's see about uh, what's out here, though. Oh, oh wait, back to where we That's are. That's where we start, okay. Uh, I guess we'll try left, then. There's grinding mountains, okay. Always good to know where that is. Um, let's go south. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, what you doing there? Nah. Niles. Hello, little boy. No, that was Edward. <laughs> Hello, little boy. We're looking for a uh, uh, bit of a torn photo. Apparently all my voices are mixed up today. Have you found any pieces around? Yeah, the wind blew this thing by me. Is that what you guys are looking for? It's normally all about finding escapes, but I'll give it to you if you solve this puzzle. 101, disappearing act one. Okay. Oh boy, here's a simple puzzle. You can move any ball on the board below as long as it satisfy satisfies the following conditions. To move, jump your selected ball over an adjacent space occupied by another ball. Okay, wait, how do we complete it? You must remove all balls from the board except for one. Okay, once you've made the jump, the ball you jumped over disappears from the board. To complete the puzzle, okay. So I, I can, how do I jump? The, um, jump your selected ball over an adjacent space occupied by another, so like this. Or, uh, like this? I don't quite understand how this works. We'll try moving them, you know, around. Where can we... What are possible moves? Can, they can't just move. Because it implies that I can do it with adjacent pieces? Okay, let me, let me reread the instructions here. Jump your selected ball over an adjacent space occupied by another ball into an empty space on the other side. So like this? I do not understand what about the middle one? Can, Did you try um, moving that one over? Oh, there we go. Okay. So that's... So then this should work as well. Then that way. So then we're... Can we do it diagonally? Hmm. You can't jump diagonally. Okay, let's Maybe do that's... that. Okay, well at least now we know how to do it. So... Try, yeah, okay, Try going I up. Yeah, up or. Oh, but then that one's stuck there. <clears throat> yeah. Because we need to do that, and then we can't do much with the wrist. Okay. So I think we can't do up on the first move. So then... So left or right, I'm thinking? Yeah. This will go up here. This will go over here. Actually, this could also go down. Down. But then that makes the diagonal problem. Actually, no, this will work. Oh, hey. There we go. Okay. Okay. Huh. That was interesting. It took me a little to figure out how the balls can move. But... We'll get another one of those later on. Yeah, I think so. sounds good. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. One configuration of a puzzle known as peg solitary. Hmm. As the name suggests, the traditional version of the game is put with pegs that you insert into holes in the board. Okay. Cool. Reminds me a bit of checkers, like jumping over other pieces. Uh, yeah. To capture them and such. You know, there used to be lots more people in full sense back in the day, but then everyone left. Suspicious. Because of the vampire? The vampire. He drained all their blood or whatever. <laughs> Duh, take another break from while you're running back and forth. Okay, just straight up puzzle, alright. Wait a minute. This oh, is one we've, we've already done. tried? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. Hopefully we don't have to solve that one. I'm gonna keep searching um, around. <laughs> Some genius you turned out to be. Yeah, rubbing it in, Mr. Genius over here. We talked to her. She had a puzzle that we also declined, I remember. Uh, okay. Um, oh, 
text message. Oh, nothing major. So we're back in the antiquarian's place. Yeah, he was a nice guy. Yeah. Vintage puzzle. We'd be honored to hear it. it involves a certain rare vase in the collection. Okay. Stones in a vase. This vase holds 101 stone, each identical in size and feel. There are 50 black stones and 51 white stones. Put on a blindfold, reach in, and pull out as many stones as you like. When you're finished, you've removed an equal number of black and white stones. If you've removed an equal amount. You'll receive a number of gold pieces equal to the number of stones, okay? How many stones should you remove to give yourself the best chance of removing equal numbers? Well, just one. You could remove one white stone, and then you'd have equal amounts, right? Or, oh, just remove in your hand, I guess is what they're saying. To give yourself the best chance of removing equal numbers of stones while getting the most money possible. Equal number? Should you... Well, I'm thinking a hundred. If you can physically do that. Then you'd get, what, 50-50? Yeah, right? 50 of each. Only one stone would be left. Yeah. Yeah. That seems... Kind of obvious, but... Oh. Oh, that's a little more, okay. I don't know how one line is counted as a four, but that's okay. Yeah, of course it's not that simple, huh? Maybe uh, yeah, take well, a clue if you I want. Suppose you can't it pays to go more. for the big money, but that's what we... Oh, wait. I think they said how many stones total, which would be 100. I inferred that how many of each should you take, which would be 50, but 100. They mean the total? Yeah, I think that's what okay. they're going for. Consider this puzzle solved. Huh, there we go. Yeah. Well, yeah, then you have ah, one left. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only one will remain inside. And it's even still even. The stone is white, it means it's six we've moved 50 of each color, yeah. But what if you left a black stone at the end? Yeah, that's right. If you left a black stone at the end? Well, if you took 100. Or do you, it's not blindfolded or anything? It, well, they did say it was blindfolded. Yeah. We still need four scraps of paper left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh, let's see one. Reminds me of uh, Pajama Sam. Each game has an item that will be hidden on each screen. Mm -hmm. Not okay. on every screen, but occasionally. Is that another fragment of our missing photograph? I see. Here we go. Is there any in the hotel room? Oh, oh, there's Bart in there. Do you want to talk to him? Sure. The inspector may seem like a grouch, but I've never seen a man go head over heels for his wife. I think we might have... Oh, we're gonna go see Flora? Uh, I suppose. Where's Flora? Oh, oh. You startled me. Well, where did you get off to, Flora? I think actually in the first game I gave her a, a slight German accent. So I might try and replicate that, but... Me? I will, um... Come now, Luke. A gentleman never forces a lady to say more than she wants to. Hey, yeah, we don't know if that's really Flora. That's true. We, we suspect it's not. Yeah. Before, remember? Where are my manners? Sorry, Flora. Don't give it a second thought. See, how'd your investigation go? Did you find out anything more about the Elysian box? Oh, see, why is she asking about that? A bit, but nothing cons uh, concrete. What we need is more time to comb the area for clues. We could be quite a while, so if you feel tired, go ahead and turn in, dear. I will. I sure hope you two find a good solid lead soon. Yeah, she's suspicious for sure. Oh. You're right, there's something about flowers that's really relaxing. Okay. Well, I guess there's nothing really to be here, though. We still need to find three more scraps of paper. Yeah. Uh huh. No, that's not one. That guy could be puzzle iron. You're in full sense now, kids. Go on and dream big, because anything's possible here. Let me welcome you newcomers with a little riddle. Where did we try this before? We might, let's see. 60. Plaza puzzle, it doesn't look like it. Okay. There's a big old statue in the middle. Uh, okay, when you take away the area occupied by the statue, the plaza looks like a donut in shape, okay? What you gotta do is divide the donut plaza into two identically shaped parts using only one line. Before you get any big ideas, the dotted lines show won't cut it because they're actually two lines. Oh. Oh, I see what they're saying. What? We can't go through the middle, I don't think. Why not? 
Because it's considered two lines. Okay, then can't you just go this way? <laughs> You'd think so, but... Divide the donut plaza into two identically shaped parts, using only one line. You could go diagonally, then. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know if that counts or not. If going through the middle... Unless you just do this and draw through the middle, and it's misleading in the way it's written. I'll try that, actually. And now to test my theory. Okay, now. Do -do. Oh, my. Focus on the this turn one, one line. It doesn't hit somewhere in there. Hmm. One line, huh? Okay. Is it done? Is there a line hidden in the stone? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Because I can see this kind of pattern here. It looks kind of like a dragon. Yeah, it does. Um, there's also these lights that are... So you want to follow, like, the stones? Maybe. I wonder if that's it or not. Hmm. Two... Does it specifically say two equally sized parts? Identically shaped, shaped parts. I don't know this one actually. The dotted lines won't cut it because they're actually two lines. The only other thing I could think of is if we had one line that was like the circumference of it. But I don't think that's equal. But uh, I don't know, we could try this, but I don't think it will really change much. And now to test my theory. Well, I suppose oh that's God. one possibility eliminated. Yeah, I don't know. Should we just pass on this one? You don't think we need to? To solve it? To solve it I don't yeah. think so, because he didn't mention having a piece of it. Okay. The puzzle. We're calling it quits, yeah. Go to the train? Hop on the train. No. Professor, the train still stopped and there's not a soul in sight. Very sinister music. Right. So we'll go forward, I suppose? I'm trying to think if there's any screens we haven't been to yet. Because we've been to a lot of them, I think. I, I know we haven't been to one. That this way? Right? Yeah. Okay. We haven't been to this one a little bit. That's true, yeah. Talk to the guy outside, though. I think we did a hat puzzle before so, with him. Yeah, I think we did. So I was watching the door. Yeah, little things. The other day, boss, he tells me to make copies of the mail. He's shoving off when he gets a paint to do. But what do you say to helping me fold these bad boys? Fold them. Hmm. Copying the menu. What does the fewest number of passes through the machine need to make a full duplicate of the menu? Okay. It is folded into thirds with print on both sides, meaning in total there's six pages to it. The boss needs lots of copies, but your copy machine can copy a maximum of two adjacent menu pages at once. To save time, you want to complete a copy of the menu in as few passes to the machine. What is the fewest number of passes through the machine you need to make a full duplicate of the menu? Um, three? Well, three would make sense, yeah. 6 divided by 2 is 3. There's probably a trick to it, though, but I'll try it. Hmm, let's see if this works. It's just 3, okay. I did not expect it's that to okay. work right off the bat, but... It... Fold and copy the menu, you should make a complete duplicate of the menu in th 3 passes of the machine, okay. Hmm. That was kind of a simple math puzzle one, I think. There are probably nicer ways to do it. Are you sure your boss is okay with you doing it like that? No one's got to notice. Everyone's usually busy picking out what they want to eat. If you say so, mister. Alright, well, no um, puzzle piece there, but no. we did solve the puzzle. So is the remaining pieces really just in this area? There are a few people we could go talk to, I suppose. Have, I thought we've talked to pretty much everyone. We skipped this lady. We did? Okay. Why is everyone so quick to warn people away from the castle? I mean, what does it matter? The path there is blocked by the gate that's always locked. I think it's the sole path to the castle. Oh, you actually want to go there, huh? 
It's a weird and scary place, but I understand the feeling. The gate is open once a day to let the soul carry. Yeah, we've heard this before. Uh, in the bushes. So, do you know anything about the carriage? Yeah, okay. Every day at about the same time. Maybe deliver stuff like raw steak for the vampire to eat, maybe. Oh yeah, we haven't been to a screen yet. Okay, like the one where the gate is? Like, of course. You go up there, yeah? Yeah. Oh, here's one. Because I remember going to that house right there. Watchtower or something. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, the, the diner, or not the diner, the the, the, the grocery grocery store. Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit like something here. Uh, but we've got lots of places we could go. Yeah. Let's try left first. Okay, and we still couldn't go in that area yet. We can go this way. Oh, a barricade has been reinforced right now. Oh. No, I was thinking we could go that way, yeah. And this is this area. The mirror. Could go is that the top of the tower, maybe? No, but, but he just needs some tea. We can probably try and do that. Uh, emergency all in big trouble. Okay. Tea's not sweet at all. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Is that all? What do we do with the vampire person? How will I quench my thirst mid-combat? Exactly what kind of tea would, you, would allow you to continue your fight? It's a secret monster fight recipe handed down from my great great granddaddy. It's got joy root clover and a little something else that makes it smoky and thirsty. Joy root clover? Do we have that? I just want to see here. what we have. Tonic flower. Oh, uh, we do have that. Okay, let me take a look at the instructions again. Smoky tea with clover and something sweet. Okay. Well, we do have sweet. Yeah. We do have the clover. Oops. clover. Smoky. Smoky. Sour. Refreshing. Mild. I think we still need something else. I think we need like a spicy thing before we can do it. Yeah. Well, we'll come back if we can farm it. Okay. We gotta solve more puzzles. Right. And we still gotta find those last couple um, pieces of the photo. Ah. Let's see. Hello, man, fellows. Your friendly neighborhood postman, Parcel, is at your service. Hi, Mr. Parcel. I've been wondering, why do you come all the way out here? Believe me, kid, I'd love to tell you, but it's a secret between the folks of Full Sense and Dropstone. It's not really my place to gossip about their affairs. No peace, though. on the edge of town. Oh, and why stop? It's what I heard from the people who went treasure hunting at that dusty castle outside of town. They also said that the vampire with big fangs lives up there. Yikes. Are you talking about the vampire who's rumored to live up in Hearst Castle? Well, gosh, if you know what I was talking about, why'd you make me explain it? Anyway, even though the whole fang thing sounds creepy, that old vampire is nothing to be scared of. As long as you have a cross or some garlic, you're good to go. Actually, I bet even a hunk of garlic bread would do the trick. Really? Oh yeah, everyone knows that. I meant to ask you to. Do you know what this is? The wind blew it over here earlier. I sure do. That's a piece of the photograph. And I bet the final one will be like hidden in some other location that we would only be able to do if we needed just one left, I guess. You think? Yeah. Maybe. That's my estimate anyway. Because it seems like we've been pretty much everywhere else. This guy needs tea. We could try to give him tea. Did we? Best of teas. Ah, oh, spice, yeah. Yeah. We don't have one. No. Yeah. Okay. It's the one thing. Well, no, we're missing two, I think. Two ingredients? Yeah. Yeah. 
couple more missing. So we need just one more. Oh, this guy also needs tea. Let's see what it is. Downtrodden. Okay. Rain cloud. A cup of tea. Okay, let's see what he wants first. Everybody wants something spicy, and we don't have it. The only way to get that is to solve a puzzle. Probably. And it's probably a puzzle we haven't solved. Mm -hmm. That we don't really want to solve. Is there anything we can do with four? I'll be here resting. You two be careful outside. Nah, she's useless right now. Alright. Okay, nothing there. I don't know. We need just one more piece of the photo. I don't want to be near Flora. She's really suspicious. Yeah. Flora did it. Uh, he's got a puzzle, but... It's that plaza one. Oh, and this is just the train thing again. Let me get this. Dude! <laughs> oh, it's spooky. I feel like that's just like the kind of music that would play in any like, spooky scenario. We could go check the museum again. Maybe, yeah. Um, I'm not sure where else we need to go. Or the forest. Maybe, yeah. Maybe the inspector wandered there. Because it said we could go in like that. Well, it's open, yeah, but yeah. Oh, Luke just said, oh, okay. or, yeah, Layton says, well, we shouldn't go inside for no real reason. Sugar smoke tea. Bell classic can make a little substitution. Okay. Do we have that? There was a here. Click on one of the, uh, these two. The Oasis one. This, there's the bell classic. Fruity and smoky. But I'm guessing it needs Something to be burned. burned. They keep implying there's some really spicy thing that we need. Mm. We might want to go solve one of those. Puzzles to get this. If they have it, like, yeah. I don't know. And this we've already. Now we talked to him. It's about it sooner or later. Okay. Hmm. The cameraman we haven't talked to yet. That's true. Yeah, we could go there. Um, but I don't see why he'd have a piece. No. That's worth a shot. Let's see. Where is he going to see Southie? Also, let me guess, something spicy. Okay. Coffee. Okay. Grateful. Bitter and sweet. Okay, we could probably do that. Have we already done one of those? Bell tart seed. Oh, oh, is that sweet? Is that one it? Bit no, there's no bitter. Bitter fruit. Sweet and sour with subdued bitter flavor. You wanna try that? Sweet and bitter. Yeah, we could try that. Yeah. Oh, you can serve it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all right, sweet. We already had made that one. My goodness, the tea is almost mixed. We consider trading in my coffee mug for a teacup. You too, kind sir. I'm glad to hear you enjoyed it. In truth, the reason I've been down is because every photo I've taken recently has come out strange. Things that shouldn't be there show up. Funny, I never had problems like this back in the day. Ghosts, maybe? And also a puzzle. Who did the nerve to wander past the edge of town? The tales I've heard about what people see out there would make your blood run cold. I recently went out there myself to take a few pictures of my best camp. What developed was, well, you see for yourself. Line six. Odd photos. A yeah. ghostly puzzle. <gasps> There's a ghost in the forest! Or so you thought, until you realized the specter hovering in front of you was just a figure cut out of wood hanging from a branch. Okay. Looking around the area, you notice four pieces of wood. Okay. You have four choices, A, B, C, or D. Beware, the correct board may have flipped over while lying in the grass. So we have to figure out which one is the correct one? It's, yeah, okay, I don't think it's A. Because the, the tail, tail looks different. Uh, is the number of fingers also different? I tried looking at that. Okay, I'm just gonna... B does have this weird mark in the middle. Well, I think that's a hole in it. Because it was cut from that. But... Because like that that thing you see is in the grass beyond the wood. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, this one looks like it has an upside down Ye hand. Yeah. So I don't think it's A or C. D. It's D or B, I think. And I think the direction of the tail is what determines it. 
then it's B. This should do the trick. Nice. And there we have it. Will we get the spicy thing from this? All of the boards must have slight differences that set them apart from the correct one, okay? I thought you were going to show us a real ghost. <laughs> Sorry to get your hopes up, friend. I do so love pulling up on the customers. All joking aside, no one dares enter the forest lately. The whole place is over overgrown and perilous. New hamster toy? I think it's a major one. And still no piece of the, um, the photograph. No! We talked to this guy already. Tanner wants to play with him. Do we have to solve this guy the guy's puzzle? I don't see what else we can do. Treasure Hunter said not to play on the edge of the forest. We were also in this building, right? He needs tea. Yeah, he oh, did. He used to. Huh? Not anymore, though, apparently. Prize gold. The treasures are these items, okay? Yeah, I don't know where the last one is. Um, I was expecting it to like change to another uh, part of the story when we needed only one left. But, uh, no we dice. can't go there. No. Did Granny Riddleton have it? I kind of doubt it, but let's see. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Check a puzzle, set a look here. What's she doing with her hat there? Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the heck the last one is. I thought we could find them all in this episode and finish it off, but I don't know where it is. Let's talk to her. So quick to warn me about the yeah. Too bad you can't skip this. Yeah, like I was, I could hold it down like an ace attorney. Yeah. But no, I can't do that here. Where the heck would it be? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna check in front of the museum. The museum, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's opened up. Maybe. Hmm. Should have find our way there. It should be this way. Okay, this guy needs tea now. Oh, the door is still locked. But tea doesn't need. Oh, so very thirsty. Yeah. Gregorio, love chest like pigs like mine. Okay. A cup of tea helps that thirst of yours. We might have got any sunny morning. I'll see what I can make. Layton's not a boy. He's a gentleman. Oh, sweet and smoky, though. We still need that smoky thing, whatever it is. Okay. Okay. So, still a dead end after all this. Nothing about the puzzle or the... I think it might be time to take a break. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, we may need to search for the last piece next time. So, next time on Let's Play Professor Layton at the Diabolical Box. We'll find the last elusive piece. I need to find it. Of the uh, the photographs. We'll see them.